Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany if you've never been here before and today's video is just gonna be a good old-fashioned uh, YouTube made me buy it video. Surprisingly enough considering the majority of the things I buy is because YouTube or Instagram makes me buy it, um, I've never actually filmed this video before so I was like that's an idea. You, sh you should run with that idea and here we are. Please do not mention my hair because I know um, I can't make it do anything today, but I tried to do something a little bit different and now we got these two little buns and it's not good and I know that, but we're here and I'm gonna go with it, so yeah, thanks. You know, that's pretty much all I have for the intro. Uh, hi, don't talk about my hair, you two made me buy it, still in quarantine. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this video. Do you wanna do that? Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Right now. If you would like to see me use a full face of products that YouTube made me buy, just keep on watching. Okay, cool. We got you in. You hear? I think it's time that we put makeup on my face. I'm gonna use my mirror that YouTube made me buy to apply the concealer that YouTube made me buy. So the concealer that YouTube made me buy is the Too Faced concealer. You know, the one with the giant stick. Wow. What? And this is in the shade Seashell. Uh, this was actually a fun experience. I don't know if I've ever told the story of buying this, but I went in with my husband and I had him pick my perfect shade based on my skin and he chose this one. It actually is a perfect shade. I will say I don't like this concealer, but I did get it because everyone else on the planet that had a YouTube channel seemed to really like it. So I was like, you know what? I want something that I really like and I think it's like fine. I haven't used it in a while. Maybe I'll feel differently, but I just feel like it kind of creased a lot and it was just like, okay, but you know what? YouTube definitely is the reason I bought it and I wish I liked it because I like the packaging and there's like a ton of concealer in here. There is 0.5 ounces compared to 0.2 ounces in the Flower Beauty that I use a lot right now. So anyway, let's uh, pounce it in. See, the color is like pretty damn good for me since I don't wear foundation. I need something that matches my skin really well. I don't like the like super highlighted look. I don't think that is a good look for me at least without foundation. So this matches pretty well. And again, I don't know if I said it, but it's in the shade Seashell. I can't remember what YouTuber specifically um, is the reason I purchased this. I just know that it was YouTube because everyone was using this when it came out. And I feel like everyone used it for a while and people really love the foundation too, but I don't use foundation. So that's why I love it. So for the powder that YouTube made me buy, is there any other besides RCMA No Color Powder? That is cruelty free. Cause there's also the Maybelline powder and Laura Mercier translucent that people talk about a lot. But this was like the one for the longest time. And I know there's a lot of people who still enjoy it. Mine, I just switched into a packaging that doesn't suck dick. And I'm gonna set my concealer with that. I think it's a good powder. I still use it. I still enjoy it. And it's been one week since you looked at me. No, it's been uh, three years. I got this when I first started YouTube, so three or four years now. I can't believe I've actually been making YouTube videos that long. It's such a weird thing. I know I wanted to forever before I started because I used to do like stuff on MySpace for makeup, but I can't believe it's been three straight years. I'm surprised I haven't gotten discouraged. <laughs> Sorry if you hear my husband laughing out there. He's finally able to play video games with his brother and he's very, very happy about it because they love each other. Cool. So for a bronzer that YouTube made me buy. Of course, it's gonna be the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. There's also the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer is another big one and I do have that. I am trying to go through that because I heard Physicians Formula isn't cruelty free anymore so I'm trying to use it all up. But I thought for sake of doing something different that I haven't used in a while, I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs. I love the way this stuff smells. And I actually, I don't know if you can tell, there's a pretty good little dip in this. I use, I don't switch up my bronzer very often. So the ones I use, I use often and forever because I don't buy new ones. And this is one of those ones. I really like the tone. I think it's very pretty. I think it just makes me look tan. It smells really nice and it better be good for the money I spent on it. Cause when I got it, like I had money unlike now when like no one has money, you know what I mean? With um, life in the world. Um, so I haven't bought anything new in a while, actually. Anybody else? There's been some cool stuff that has come out. I know when the Mulan collection came out, I was this close to buying it. And then I was like, you know what? That's right when things were just starting to get kind of bad. And I was like, I have a feeling that my work's going to be affected. So I don't think I'm going to spend money right now. 
and that was a good call because my work was affected and now um money's not great but that's you know neither here nor there you know what is great my health i'm healthy you know what else is great my life i get to hang out with my dogs and my cat no i have one dog dog and cats uh, and husband all day and enjoy seeing them in a way i don't normally get to and that is the most important thing healthy we're all healthy nobody i know is sick okay so now for a highlighter that youtube made me buy i'm gonna go in with the jacqueline cosmetics the flash palette uh this is one that i only bought because of youtube obviously because of jacqueline hill and i believe i saw a couple of people using it that did like it because you know the whole trust thing was dropped for her in general when the um lipstick thing happened but i um did want to give the highlighter a chance and you know what i think it's good i like it a lot i don't i don't think for me it was worth the money just for what i like in a highlighter there's nothing wrong with it formula wise it's great um texture it's great it highlights really pretty which you will see but i don't love all of the colors the yellow in it is a two yellow and the um the white these two are just a little too like this is too yellow and this is too white for me so i have to mix both of those but it reminds me formula wise of the hourglass ambient strobe lighting palette but i like these shades better since i have this i don't feel like i needed both considering i feel like they're pretty similar but if you wanted this and this is too expensive because i think this is actually more than this uh, maybe this would be a better option because you also get more shades so for me i'm gonna mix these two together which is mesmerized and iced and i'm going to highlight those cheeks let's see okay see it works really nicely like they're not bad at all i think it's good formula so if you like the shades i think you'll really like the uh highlighters they're just not my shades these two are really pretty though and i always mix them together same with the ambient strobe i always mix the three together and it just sits really nicely it's very smooth it's very bright i do like it don't get me wrong it's just like one of those price per price versus like use situations where i do use it but i want to enjoy it more for like i think it was like 50 bucks or something like that 60 maybe was it really that much i don't know we are back to happiness so what do you guys think of Jaclyn Hill? Have you guys used the brand? Have you tried the lipsticks? Did anybody try the lipsticks? I heard that like Samantha Ravindahl actually uses them and she says she's had nothing happen. So I don't know. I never picked them up. I thought about it and then I was like, you know, I'm going to wait and see reviews. They looked a little too emollient for me anyway because I like something a little stiffer, like not super matte, but more satiny and hers seemed more creamy. So that's why I didn't get them. And then I turned out to be one of the lucky ones that did not. Can you imagine how much that sucked for her though like I felt for her I know people think like she's I don't know a snake and does stuff on purpose I don't think anybody would do that to themselves on purpose um there might have just been you know not as not good enough quality control and you know it's, I don't know I have I don't hate her like some people just really hate her I think that anyone who's under that many eyes is gonna make mistakes like everyone makes mistakes but when you are under that many eyes they're more public and they're scrutinized in a way that we'll never be able to understand unless we were a Jaclyn Hill you know what I mean so I don't have any negatives when it comes to her because like I, I don't know what it's like to be her and I can't imagine how hard that is like I remember when I can't remember what was happening but she commented she like tweeted something and someone was like how about instead of doing this you go donate all your money to help blah 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 and I was just like man it must suck to not be able to just say anything without having somebody attack you so that's why it's like I don't know that was a rant but I feel like people need to relax is my point I can't imagine what it's like to be a person like that and not be able to just like breathe and s just speak without having somebody be like why don't you fucking fuck yourself you dumb stupid bitch that's gotta suck blush so blush for me that YouTube made me buy was the Burt's Bees um, blushes. Burt's Bees blushes. Um, I'm going to go in with the shade Toasted Cinnamon because this is the one specifically that YouTube made me buy because Kathleen Lights loves Toasted Cinnamon. Um, I prefer Bare Peach because I like a more peachy blush, but this is also cute. It's like a warm, this is like warm, tan, summer, awesome. Um, warm, tan, summer, awesome. 
yeah, this blush looks, it, it, it looks good on me too. It looks good, it looks better on her. It looks good on me. She's a little tanner than me, but it is a really pretty blush. I'm just more into a peach blush. But this is a nice, like, orangey tan blush. You see that? I think it's really cute. I don't use it as much, um, because you know what I've been using a lot? I always keep going back to these two. The Hourglass Blush Quad and the Alamar Blush Trio. I always go back to these two. But... I'm going with single blushes. I do really like the Burt's Bees. And a little on the nose. Cute. Okay. Let's put this aside so I can use it again because I actually really like how my cheeks look right now and it makes me look like I have been outside. Okay, so I'm going to quickly do my bl brows off camera, um, but I am using products that YouTube made me buy. The Kaja Brow Pencil, which is my favorite, um, I purchased because of Taylor Wynn. She said how great this was, and it honestly is. Um, I'm going to fill them in with a powder. I don't have a powder that YouTube made me buy. And then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel, which YouTube made me buy, and I love this gel. I actually have a backup of that one because it's one of my favorite ones. So let me fill in my brows, and I'll be right back to do some eyes with you. Okay. Okay, guys. I am back. Um, and so here are eyebrows. Great. I have them. You have them. Let's move on. Oh, before we talk about eyeshadow, did you guys see my nails? Aren't they ridiculous? Like, okay, so I'm very conflicted because on one hand, they look terrible. Can you see my thumbs? No. They look really bad. They're not done well, except for this one. I feel like this was my best one. The rest are kind of trash, but they make me so happy. And I can't, I don't know. I feel like that's what I need right now. And then on my toes, they're all yellow and just the big toes have smiles. I actually made a TikTok with this hand. Um, okay, so that... You... <laughs> oh, TikTok. TikTok is my new favorite thing. I am 31 years old. If you would like to watch a 31-year-old lady battle through depression, follow me on TikTok. And then you can see the TikTok with the nails. Anyways, eyes. So, pretty, like, a, a large, a large number of eyeshadow palettes that I have, um, YouTube made me buy, if I'm honest, like, that's one of those things that YouTube really, really gets me with, um, but I was racking my brain, I'm like, if I could think of, like, the palette that YouTube made me buy, let's see if you can guess, because you know what I have, I just did that palette video, if you're new, um, hi, I got some new people from the palette, uh, collection video, you just saw it. And you've seen other videos, so what palette of mine do you think would be the one YouTube made me buy? The one. If you guessed the Conspiracy palette from Jeffrey, Sh Jeffrey Star and Shane Dawson, then you're right on the money, governor! This palette, YouTube made everyone buy this palette. YouTube made every person in the world buy this palette. YouTube made so many people buy this palette that Jeffrey Star's site committed suicide. <laughs> That's dark. Uh, this is the palette. It's beautiful. I love it. And I'm gonna do a super, super, super simple look with this because I'm just gonna go to my kitchen and eat. And I'm not feeling like getting real crazy with it today. I have to be honest. I'm just not feeling it. Um, I'm surprised that I'm filming. It's been hours. But I watched this video from uh, Samantha Ravindal, and she did this whole thing. I'll link it here if I can, but she did this whole video about the shared experience that we are all having when it comes to, you know, that coronavirus. And it was about how to try to be more productive or what you define as being productive for you in this unique situation because some days it's just like getting out of bed and not crying is productive and it's learning what actually makes you feel good versus what you're doing because you think you should be doing and I feel more productive and better about what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day when I am actually getting stuff stuff done depending on what it is it, it will be on you. Whatever makes you feel productive and like you're getting things done is going to be different from person to person. But for me, getting at least something done for the day makes me feel productive. And for today, what's making me feel productive is getting a video done. Yesterday, what made me feel productive was, what did I do? Oh, I, I started school again. I took my, my first online class. Some days, I'm telling you, productive is just, just getting up and brushing my hair. So, you know, anyways, 
that's why I'm filming a video. It took me a couple hours to do it, but I was like, you know what? I can, I'm feeling it. And I need to not just soak in my own self-pity. So let's just do a quick little look and I'm gonna start with the shade Tanicon Rot Hair. I know every time I use this palette, I tend to talk about it, but who watched the series with Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star? And what did you think? Cause I think it was, ugh, man, I don't know. I feel like the marketing around this palette, and I know I've said it before and I'll say it every single time until someone tells me to stop. And then I might still say it, depending on who it is. Um, the marketing behind this palette was absolutely genius. It was just so, so good, man. It made everyone, just the whole experience was great. No wonder it sold out. I'm not surprised because how could it not? Everyone was watching that series. Everyone was like anticipating this palette coming out even before the series. Not everyone was, but I was anticipating this palette coming out long before the series. I knew it was coming. Um, I can't remember what it was that let me know it was coming, but I knew it was coming a good while before that series came out. And I was just so excited. I was like, anything they do together, I'm going to want because I love both of them. Um, I miss Shane Dawson. Like, Shane, where have you been? I'm now going to go in with Diet Root Beer right here. This is like one of my favorite shades in this palette. And it's also in the mini controversy, which I've been actually using a lot lately. I use that every day for work that I actually went in this week, which was two days, but um, whatever. That's every day, both days I used the mini and I love this shade in it. I think it's such a good brown. Imagine if Jeffree Star put out a whole neutral palette. I heard he is. I think he said something about it on Twitter. Who knows when though, just because of like life right now. And I don't think it would be smart for anybody. I don't think launches right now are a good idea because people can't afford to buy anything. And it seems like your sales would be bad because of that. So that's probably, I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but there has been less launches. And I don't think that's just because there aren't people to work factory lines and stuff because that's not essential. But I think it's also like a money thing because they know like people can't buy this right now. If we release it right now, it's not going to do as well as if we wait a little bit. Um, but I, I would love to see what he would do because he actually does some pretty good neutrals. Like these are both really, really good shades. I'm now going to take a little bit of not a fact right here. Such a pretty shade. Look at her. That's not a good swatch. Let's do that again. Look at her. Very good. I'm going to put that like on the outer corner next to the lash line. I think that'd be kind of cute. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and throw on a lid shade. I think I want to keep it matte. So I think I'm just going to take Tanacon and put that on the lid. I think that'll be fine with the finger. Yeah, that's oh, such a good shirt. I love that shade and I love it with that purple. It looks like really nice. I'm going to quickly add a little black right against the lash line to just kind of deepen it up, make it look like I got more lashes than I do. Now, for the lower lash line, I think we're just going to keep it neutral because I like the little bit of purple on top. I think it's cute. I'm going to first go in with the lighter shade Tanacon. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of Diet Root Beer and smudge that under there also. Ooh, yes. It's such a simple look, but I think it looks really pretty. Okay, fine. I'll give you one more little like... So how about this? For an inner corner highlight... How about what's the tea? Just to give it a little pop, and I think that would look pretty next to the purple. So I'm gonna load my brush like that. Actually, ooh, 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 wait. Take a little bit of my Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil. Nope, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Okay, and then I'm gonna like put a little bit in my inner corner right here, just for like a slight base so that that blue sticks even better. Okay, perfect. So now let's take that shade. What's the T on our brush right here? Let's pop it on the inner corner right on top of that white. Look at how pretty that is. I really like that. That's a little bit darker than I thought. I think maybe the white base because it was a little moistened made it like, ooh, that's really pretty. That, I like that a lot. Let's do it on the other side. Ooh, but I think it made it a little bit darker from the moisture. Either way, I don't know, but I think it looks really cool and interesting, doesn't it? What do you think? I think I like it. 
So let's highlight the brow bone with a little bit of ranch, which is the white shimmery shade. Just a little because the stuff is intense. Very nice. Wow, that is so bright. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me throw on some mascara because I don't have a mascara that YouTube made me buy. And then I will throw on a lip with you and we will finish this off. Okay? Okay, one second. You know what? Let me go in this way for the transition with my little guy. Okay, guys, so this is the completed look. I went ahead and threw some eye mascara on. This is the completed eye look. I went ahead and threw on some mascara, and I think it looks really, really pretty. I actually would redo this. I think it looks really nice. Uh, and I did line my lips because there's not really a lip liner that you two made me buy um, that would go with the color of lipstick I chose, which is the shade Thick, and it's by Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle Matte Lipsticks. Yes, this is just like a travel size um, of a shade. I really like these. I got these obviously because of YouTube because anything with Fenty, the internet makes you want to get it. And I remember when these came out, everyone was talking about them and they're honestly really, really nice. The only thing I found that feels similar to this is the, um, the Wet n Wild lipsticks, which I will link up here. Uh, I found them one day just randomly at like CVS or Walgreens and I bought a bunch of them and I made a video and it is a dupe for this, but I'm going to use this right now and put it on my lips. And it's like a nice like mauve shade, which I thought would go nice with the purple and the uh, the crease. Ooh, I was right. That looks really pretty. Mmm. Uh, do you like that? With that crease? Outer corner? This is not the kind of shade I go for very much, but like I think this whole look looks so cute together. And something about this blue in the inner corner is making my eye color pop. I really like it. I had pulled out this gloss to throw on top. It's actually a liquefied lipstick, high shine lipstick in Cedar Later. But now I don't know if I should put it because this looks so nice. I'm not gonna put it, but YouTube made me buy these as well. The, the Wet n Wild cat suits, man, come on. Okay guys, so those were all of the items that YouTube made me buy. What do you think of the look? I think I look so cute right now. Um, I'm gonna look real cute to go hang out on the couch with my husband and make some cauliflower rice with mix and match, mix and match items of what's left in my kitchen. So we're not supposed to grocery shop this week, so I'm just chilling. Everything I used I liked. I actually think my under eyes kind of look nice with that concealer too, so maybe I'll give it another chance and not be so hard on it. You never know. Things change. People change. If I can change and you can change, everybody can change. So yeah, that, that's gonna complete this video. Those are all the products that I used and I like it and I think the look turned out really pretty. Let me know down below some of your items that YouTube made you buy and which ones are your favorite and if you've tried these and what you think of them because I would love to know. I hope you are doing well and staying mentally sane while being stuck in your house and I hope that you're all healthy and everyone in your family is healthy and that everything is just like good for you considering some, t some, of, the, some of the things going on right now are not so good, you know? You know. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you liked it and I will see you in my next video, hopefully. Don't want to be presumptuous, but I hope I will. Okay, bye.